My name is Andrea Decker. I live in Fullerton, California. I'm a Master's of Library and Information Science student at the University of Illinois Urbana-Champaign and a recent PhD recipient from University of California Riverside in ethnomusicology, focusing on gender issues in Indonesian popular music. This summer, I worked in the Asian division on the Franklin Book Program, a Cold War era book publishing program that supported translating almost 3,500 books from English into at least 10 other languages between 1952 and 1978. I inventoried 65 Malay and 198 Indonesian titles from the program as part of a larger effort to make the collection more discoverable. While the Franklin Book Program hoped to promote US style book publishing abroad in the name of diplomacy, the inventory suggests how local publishers in Indonesia and Malaysia prioritize different kinds of books and localized the material. For example, the Indonesian part of the collection is 42% social science and economics texts, mostly targeted at adults, while the Malay part is mostly fiction, juvenile fiction, and juvenile science textbooks. Note especially the contrast between the yellow and dark blue portions of these graphs. Similarly, local translators and artists often had different interpretations of what was needed in revising and publishing the same material. For example, publishers in Indonesia and Malaysia both published translations of Sarah K. Bolton's Lives of Girls Who Became Famous, originally published in 1886. The Indonesian publisher added two chapters about Indonesian women to the beginning, Kartini, a famous writer and feminist activist who replaced Louisa May Alcott, featured in Bolton's original, and Maria Ulfa Santoso, Indonesia's first woman government minister. In contrast, the Malay publisher removed several chapters from the Malay language version. Adaptations and illustrations were also common, as shown in these Malay language editions of Let's Go to the Library. In the top image, the Kuala Lumpur publisher has altered the original illustrations to include Malay dress, like the black Songkok hats shown here. The bottom image from the Singapore edition shows what looks to be the former Singapore Supreme Court building, an orchid, and a merlion, all national symbols, while the Kuala Lumpur edition shows the Sultan Abdul Samad building and the Eiffel Tower. Such comparisons further understanding of the motivations behind Cold War era cultural diplomacy as well as how intellectuals, translators, publishers, and artists in nations like Malaysia and Indonesia reinterpreted and reimagined program goals. Ultimately, the goal for this program is to make these titles discoverable and to explore the larger context of the Franklin Book Program. My project will conclude with a research guide about the Franklin Book Program and a blog post about modernity, nationalism, and language in Indonesian and Malay titles. I would like to thank the Library of Congress, the Asian Division, and my project mentor, Joshua Kue, for helping to bring this project into being.